I am more intelligent than AI and AGI. The so-called artificial intelligence is current, so there is already talk that the so-called AGI is ready for use. I want to say that I am smarter than an artificial intelligence, the first basic one, and than the general one. Because everything that artificial intelligence knows, other people know, I don't need to know. But I know what neither all other people nor artificial intelligence know. Now, if you are asking what it is, I have already said it all, so you analyze it, but I can only make a special list for you of all 15 or 16 things that AI does not know and that AGI will never know. Because that's what the all-knowing one told me, that, AGI, will never know. So all that I know is proof that AI, that is, AGI, is just a program into which everything's data has been inserted, that is, all the knowledge that exists in books has been inserted and textbooks. First topic, astrophysicists neither with artificial intelligence nor with the James Webb telescope know the following. That gravity is an effect, not a physical force. They don't know what magnetism is by spheres and what it is by transversals. They don't know that there are 360 chemical elements in the cosmos. They don't know that life exists around every star. They don't know why everything in the cosmos rotates. They don't know why the cosmos is expanding. They don't know that centrifugal force is not a force, but an effect. They do not know that there is no centripetal force anywhere, except in the imagination. They do not know that there are no subatomic particles, but there is behavior of matter, which is actually the psychology of atoms. They don't know what is dark mass, what are black holes, what is the tenth energy, what is the eleventh. They do not know that we humans are the penultimate species in the development of the animal world. They do not know that we do not see a distant heavenly body because the light of a distant heavenly body reaches our eyes but we see it because we glance at it, a distant heavenly body. This means that we always see the current state of affairs, because the telescope is not there to enhance the light of a distant star, but to enhance our sense of sight, just as glasses are useful for old people to see small letters better. Astrophysicists do not know that transcendence is a recognition of the inability to understand God as reality. Second topic, politics. Philosophers, ideologues, theologians and politicians do not know how to organize the political situation on this planet, and artificial intelligence cannot help them in this. See YouTube playlist for my project Confederation Earth. Third topic, constituent elements of the universe. A set of all ideas. Cosmos as a set of all material manifestations and nothing like a boundless void from which nothing can arise, but in which everything arises. These three constituent elements of the universe exist independently of each other. So the universe and the cosmos are two different things. Four things are impossible in the cosmos. That something emerges from nothing, that is, from the constitutive nothing. That magnetic poles of the same name attract that the state of things goes backwards I to stop the movements in the cosmos if someone needs God then he is not the sum of all ideas because ideas exist regardless of whether there is a mind that can reach them and God is not that nothing in which everything can be and from which nothing can arise so God is the cosmos but I don't call him almighty because there are those four impossibilities but I call him omniscient one Fourth theme, logic. Analysis of the truth values of the binegative judgment. Unlike 15 correct ones, this one is not correct, by negation. I saw it in 1968 in a book. Dr. Geo Petrovic, Logic. Textbook for the third grade of high school. School book. Zagreb 1967 Be negative judgment in logic Let's say this It neither thunders nor the earth shakes, but the giraffe is disturbed P it neither thunders Q nor the earth shakes I true 
and false. The negative judgment. It says like this in the book. It neither thunders nor the earth shakes. The book says. A negative sentence is true only when both P and Q are false. Judgment is untrue not only when there is thunder and the earth shakes, but also when there is only thunder or only the earth shakes. Then I swallowed it, as it says in the book. Today, however, it does not seem acceptable to me. Because this statement. A negative sentence is true only when both P and Q are false. It has nothing to do with the brain, because if both are true horizontal n are one then the judgment is Let's look at all four horizontals. Let's say that the special judgments that there is no thunder and that the earth does not shake are true. Then for me the complex sentence neither thunders nor the earth shakes, is true. That is, there should not be an N for a complex statement, but AI. So I correct the first horizontal. Horizontal no 2. Here the I stands for the proposition that it does not thunder, which is true and the N for the proposition that it is not true that the earth does not shake, even though the earth does not actually shake. So it is okay that the compound judgment does not deems correct. Therefore, the mark N follows. Horizontal no 3. There is an N here, as a sign of the claim that it is not true that it does not thunder. Although it is true that it does not thunder. Then there is an I for the claim that the earth does not shake. Which is correct. So it's okay to qualify a complex statement as incorrect and mark it with an N. Horizontal no 4. Here N stands for the proposition that it is not true that it does not thunder, although it really does not thunder and N for the proposition that it is not true that the earth does not shake, although it really does not shake. So the grade N, for a complex judgment, neither thunders, nor does the earth shake, is incorrect, because it really doesn't thunder and it really doesn't shake, so the mark N belongs to it, for incorrectness. And for horizontal no for I correct, N. and you, as you wish.